morning. I'm Jim Dobrani, and I represent this, uh, this uh, IGCS3. It's an application uh, written in four hands from Alessandro Barbolati. And uh, I wish to show you some uh, uh, aspects of uh, um, programming the DSP core that we have developed in uh, using C sound. And uh, Alessandro will show you uh, a particular implementation of the metrics and some aspects of the final target of the app. This is the original PCS3 we have based in our laboratory in Pesaro. This is an analogic division of the conservatory. So we have uh, this original the genuine PCS3, this analog machine of the 60s, a very difficult to implement. It's a very atypical instrument for many reasons. For, for example, uh, a typical envelope shaper, a typical voltage control filter, a typical um, relationship between uh, keyboard voltage and frequency output, so, so it's not easy to implement this machine. In particular, the matrix you see in this picture is the very difficult to implement easily and success. So we start from here. I start from here some years ago for my students to implement with the Maxi Sound, a simple implementation using the, the graphic interface of MaxiSan. And uh, so you can see the matrix, uh, this is, uh, is an array of uh, switches, and also equipped with uh, uh, 16 events uh, sequences. Uh, so this was the starting point, uh, but uh, uh, next, uh, Alessandro proposed that we need to realize an, an application but with a better interface, with a more realistic interface, and to the uh, purpose to, to realize an, I, an application for iPad. So, this is the final result of our work, so you can find on the Apple Store. And uh, up to now, we have uh, a good success for the or 0.7 average ratings, so for us this is great. And uh, so I, I, I will show you some aspects. So this is a little statistics of what is the CSD code has inside, but you can read easily the slides. <coughs> and uh, um, next one, you can see uh, the steps uh, to develop the application. So analyze the original machine, obviously, and we start from existing core implementation. And the third point is very important to measure the range and shape of our control because this is crucial for the matching of the uh, when you when you compare the results in the virtual machine and virtual synthesizer and the real synthesizer you would like to be able to create the same effect, especially for people that know human machine. So, um, and so we develop together this project and uh, uh, in sometime in parallel. And with CSAM PT, we have the opportunity to develop a single modules without a problem. And uh, in the second time to link together, and Alessandro uh, uh, developed, developed all the parts that appear in the, in the app uh, and link all together and, uh, and other DSP uh, uh, object to develop. So, just to have an idea of uh, now the modules to wide range BCO, frequency range 1 to 10 kHz, 184, and wide mount generator, generator, one read modulator unit, one VCF, and one envelope shaper, and one spring reverberation, and input out amplifier, 
and uh, the connection device, the matrix, and in addition, the keyboard and the seats. So these are the objects that we have come to develop. Uh, regarding the oscillators, uh, this is uh, the crucial part of the analog, we start from this experience. It's using, using the uh, band-limited input strain approach, this is very simple to implement uh, and with this uh, a few instructions you, uh, you, you can realize uh, a good sounding waveforms, so input Input strain, uh, ramp, squares, triangles, and signs. Uh, so, we should. Certain lack of coherence of waveform at low frequency because when you want to use waveform to control, not as audio, this is some problems. And, and for the sake of uh, bandwidth, we decided to use standard popcorn inside the set. So we decided to use a famous loop ladder. Oh, sorry, <laughs> another one. The uh, DCL, DCL2FT and table I, K, T, couple. So in, in this uh, example, you, you, can, uh, you can see that uh, implementation of the sinusoid and the flip shape of the original sinusoid is that are sampled on the real sinusoid and use three couples of uh, lines, you can realize by using the interpolation and adding the contribute, the three contribute, you can realize the, of the full range of passwords. So, this was uh, the final uh, selection, final choice. Another, another module was the spring repair. So, CSAM contains different uh, uh, native opcodes, but not spring repair. Spring repair is particular verb uh, that is obtained, you know, well, the springs, real springs in real world. And so there is many studies of this, but we are based on this, uh, this paper. Um, and in this uh, picture you can see uh, clearly uh, echo uh, individual echoes, but with a high level of dispersion frequency. This is uh, very crucial for uh, implement the sound of spring reverb. So there are two zones separated by a transition frequency that are the, near the same in time, but very di different in frequency. So we implement in a simple way this uh, this is the 
very simple. So there is a, a it's not correct this uh, this uh, this uh, there is a feedback because we create dispersion using a series of compass that create dispersion of the mode and uh, and then two section you can see two section a low part low, low pass section that that includes a um, low time reverb with the standard and the reverb low quality low quality reverb and uh, a high pass section for simulate the two regions so we can listen this is the volume for experiment this is in phase of society so we can hear this uh, input stress booster realized in this way With all, with all pass section and mix the two parts. Only the low, only the low section. No all pass, no dispersive mode. Again with with the okay. then the ice session with all pass. Then mix again and at last uh, with a different input. So you can hear the characteristic sound of this part. Okay. Last one I wanted to present is the BCF. BCF. This is particular BCF because. Uh, in addition of the resonant region, this filter presents a, a strange uh, depression of low frequency when resonance gets higher and higher. So it's not standard because in uh, low pass filter, when you uh, grow with the, the uh, resonance, the low frequency maintains stables. But in BCSV, this filter is change in a, in a real uh, uh, mid mid peak or uh, band pass filter. So we use a MOOC ladder for implement. MOOC ladder is another uh, of course is needed. It was developed developed by Victor Lazzarini and uh, okay. and then. To simulate these uh, two uh, side effects, that is one that I described. So the high pass section to simulate the low frequency reduction as Q increase, as the rest of the increases. Plus a sign, a pure sign oscillator to simulate the material atmospheric control and transformation from filter to filter. So we have done this because it was very difficult to control the amplitude when you bring the which has a BCF filter at resonance. So, for uh, an in real machine, the, if you read the user manual, this is BCF filter, this but uh, slash oscillator. So, you can use as oscillator. So, we have added a real oscillator to create this effect. This is the, this, this is the basic scheme. So, you can see the modular. The, in this case, was implemented outside as a UDO part of code, but in C for, say, for efficiency. And then was added these simple uh, blocks. So, a, a high pass filter with two pole filter, uh, then uh, mixed with the, the MOOC ladder, and then a pure oscillator is controlled. Two parameters control this. Diagram. So the cutoff control obviously the, the bypass 
and the frequency of the uh, high pass and the frequency of the side edge. And the resonance controls the three path, the amplitude factor that is uh, uh, passed to this table to create a, a final phosphate to uh, pass from filter to oscillator. And so this, uh, we adopted this solution. This is the uh, last uh, branch that uh, controls the amplitude. This example is a low, uh, low frequency modulated ramp. Questions? No, it's questions. Yeah. Ah, I'm not sure. Sure, I understand. Yeah. Okay. Well, the rate is a bit of this part of when you're choosing between and we see what to see. Yes, why? Because, because for two reasons. One reason is the the lack, a certain lack of uh, coherence of the shape of the waveform. Because because for the problem of the bandwidth. You use a very reductive bandwidth, and so when you use these signals for control, for example, for modulation, there is not so uh, precise to uh, instead of uh, uh, VCO to FD. Another question, do you have to see sound factors as well somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, on the web page. Yes. Okay. Good morning. And uh, I will show now the uh, real application in the I/O simulator. And uh, if you want, uh, there is so the iPad that you, you, you can uh, use uh, over. And uh,
Okay. And um, the, in the example I will provide to you, it's uh, just a four for four matrix implemented the whole audio casting system and uh, it's uh, realized by the C sound score method. So we have implemented the user interface in Objective C and uh, communicate with the sound through the uh, classical message, score message by passing some in fields. And, uh, also in the IDS3 we have the teams which are not at all a connection direct for one or zero a digital connection but we are also simulating the attenuate of the resistor of the connection. So we have three colors in the IDS3 machine uh, in order to have one direct connection to one or half or uh, the red pins are adjustable with the clock. So you have also uh, connect the matrix with an inverted connection. It's very interesting because uh, you can uh, have the, some signal again with an uh, inverted current, current tension. So we have a delegate instrument in C sound for every pins we connect in the matrix. And when we are disconnect one, we turn on off according to one instrument in the C sound board. So, we have the rough index between 0 to 15 in this little example. But another kind of thing about the matrix is to think the matrix has uh, the columns are the mixer and the rows are the mixer input channels. So, in this example, we could say we have four mixers for every column and every mixer has four channels in it. So, we have to perform for any uh, Met connection for addition and eventually for multi uh, multiplication of the uh, pin kind. The matrix size is uh, just uh, four in this example. And uh, it's more comfortable to divide this uh, row index in two. Uh, axis uh, X and Y for the mixer and the channel. And uh, we are performing this very easy operation by the module and the dividing operator. Really, it could be performed in C sound, but it's uh, performed in Objective C external to C sound, but it's just a very little task. And uh, now we communicate the state of the matrix to C sound. Uh, by passing uh, the P4 and P5 P fields in the score when we compose composing the score message, uh, which which are which is the x and y axis of the matrix. But in the same time, um, sorry, we, we are done two implementation, and this is very important because in the first implementation is based on the exact uh, general global memory system. But there is some limitation because the audio connection between the bases must be an audio sample. And instead, I think the Zach of code performing the accumulation every sample block. So when, for example, we connect the two oscillators in frequency modulation, we, we, are, we lose some information. Uh, and um, the Nyquist is not half sampling rate, but half control rate, depending from the key sample block size. In the second version, uh, we saw that this limitation, but we, we, in the example, we have both examples, both systems, because uh, uh, if you want a matrix uh, with uh, a lazy connection, very suitable for the control signal, you can employ, um, you can use the SAC system, or if you want audio, uh, it's better uh, through the array of code. The index, uh, the, the matrix index, is uh, used for um, compo composing the first, uh, the, the P1 P field for activating the instrument. This is because we need a strong reference in order to keep on and turn on and turn off the uh, instrument, in order to avoid to replace an instrument code for any uh, 
matrix cells and in matrix connection. And uh, this is an example for a tree connection, real connection, and um, focus please on the P3, P field, which is negative P1, negative P3. It means we keep on one sound instrument in the in the infinite uh, time. And uh, this P1 fraction P1 is very important because when we decide to turn off the instrument, so when we unconnect, when disconnect a pin in the matrix, um, we're doing that by negative P1. And negative P1 is a strong reference with particular instance of the instrument. And this is because we had uh, turned on the instrument with a fractional P1. Uh, avoiding this kind of implementation, we will kill any instance of the uh, instrument one in CSAM. Probably, maybe it's something to a uh, very old uh, habit in CSAM, the logic in this world, but uh, still uh, really now for this implementation. So, P5 parameters is the mixer, and P uh, P4 is the channel of the mixer. And the P1, in the fractional P1, is the uh, row index of the matrix. So the, the natural index from 0, between 0 to 15. Uh, in the sound implementation, we need to initialize the ZAC system with uh, twice of the memory we are requiring for the matrix. Because we use the second part of the memory for the mixer output, in order to collect the mixer output. And uh, now, the instrument delegate is very easy, few, just a few lines of code, because uh, just to read uh, from a channel, and accumulating uh, increment the signal through the exact right of code. Please focus the exact right of code, it's modulating, and so uh, exact right M, where M is modulating, and it means it's just like VU INC of code. And so it's not a, a simple overwrite of the memory, but we, we want to accumulate memory, because we want to uh, add additional summing all the channel for the every mixer. The instrument uh, which require an um, audio input, they uh, get only from a user uh, defined of code, in a very easy way with of code exact read. And so just after reading we need to clear the variable. Yeah. The latest implementation, the second implementation is based on the matrix and the, the GK matrix it's a two-dimensional array so it's very near the matrix with the conceptually and uh, we employ two, the P5 and P4, as index for the matrix, and we have two, the uh, instrument is even more easy because just to copy the matrix state in a particular matrix connection. And, but uh, the bulk of the work is done by the user because now the addition or the other accommodation must be performed in the inside of the instrument which requires an analogy. And this is the very interesting code, because the loop iterator is something to force the sound working in not in the audio of a key uh, time, but it's more fast. And so we have to accumulate for every audio sample any channel of the, of the mixer. And naturally, we will skip the disconnect matrix uh, row chains in order to save CPU. And here in a last example of the one instrument which received the signal from the UDO, from the mixer 0 and 1, and uh, put, uh, put out audio to the loudspeaker. is to a real example of the matrix 
the man that includes his son. Here is the code. Very easy. But you can find this file in uh, this. Uh, you can find the IBCS3 uh, sound orchestra and uh, all the Eugenio example and to this uh, sort of work around in order to make uh, work the metrics with uh, the Cisan QT. So Cisan QT is not a built-in metrics, so we just to replace some uh, instrument, but uh, the general implementation is the same of the IBCS3 application. Thank you. It's not included in the example they do in CSRQ? No. No. That's spam. <laughs> you should. Yeah. Just send me, I can yeah. I can upload okay. it. Thank you. Because this uh, orchestra is half implemented outside of CSAM in order to save CPU, for example, the view the for the filter. And so it's very difficult to push together. Yeah. But anyway, we okay. can try can to arrange it to very it. Easy. Yes. Oh, if somebody is interested. Yeah, we can play. And it's just about the, you're selling the, the software online today. I, how is that working out for you? Millionaires now? No. <laughs> <laughs> you Absolutely no, because <laughs> Apple is capturing 50%, 30% by Apple. And so, and also, the EMS. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. When we put it on the market, it's <laughs> Many people, that's yeah. so 50%. Yeah, 50% 50 50 for EMS. EMS. So you are only 20% yeah. millionaires. Yeah, uh, <laughs> 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 you think it, if you think it's, it's, it's possible though to do something that's you know that you can make money from. But in, uh, a German factory produced the case, so you know the. Yeah. The, the real case, the replication of the case of the PS3 with the the, 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 the eye in, to can insert the iPad. Oh, yeah. So so you have the real. This <laughs> 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 is online. This is this online. We was astonished because we, we don't know. <laughs> the, two days after the putting on the market, he appears. This one. This this is already. Done for IBC3. So you put and you and all of the works. And they sell, I don't, I don't remember, but 400 euros. So, with, you, your, with yourself? But, with yourself? Yeah. But they use the, they put the iPad inside and then connect with, uh, with me. So, that's a good this is a strange moment, but this is so. Okay, thank you.